Ladies and gentlemen, we are Hawks. We are proud. We are family. And today in uh, in the Freshman Academy, we're going to be addressing the, the topic of cyberbullying. Okay? Now, here at the Hawks Nest, we will not tolerate bullying of any kind. First thing we should talk about, of course, is what, what are we talking about? What's cyberbullying? Well, in this case, cyberbullying would be, uh, well, bullying of any kind is wrong. It's demeaning, it's demoralizing, it's destructive, it's, uh, it lowers people's uh, self-esteem. It, it is wrong. Cyberbullying is, is particularly damaging, at least in part because kids often feel that there's no escape from it. Victims of cyberbullying feel that it follows them everywhere they go. And uh, unfortunately, it's becoming more common. But it has no place here. It shouldn't happen anywhere. And you can help stop it. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, uh, what can you do to help stop it? What can I do? Well, let's talk a little bit about that. We're going to give you some 10 steps today. Things that you can do to help stop uh, cyber bullying to, to deal with it if you're facing it yourself as a, as a victim uh, uh, of somebody bullying you uh, to uh, help put a stop to it when uh, someone you know is being bullied and uh, let's take a look at those 10 steps we can take here All right first thing you ought to be able to do is you got to be able to report it to school personnel uh, somebody like principal garner whom you've already met, or uh, Vice Principal Glover, who is over freshmen here, uh, or any of the counselors that you've already met, or, uh, or any of the deans, or really anyone here at the school, any school personnel, anybody, any of the secretaries, any of the paraprobes, any of the, uh, the teachers or their assistants. Uh, uh, um, uh, you could talk to uh, Kara uh, in, the, uh, in the IMC, in the media center. Any of those folks, anyone here, would be happy to help, right? Talk to us. <clears throat> Turns out that uh, even if the cyberbullying does not happen using school networks or school computers or on school property, we can still take steps to so that there are consequences. Uh, it's the kind of thing that we can we can help put a stop to, and we want to. So let us know. Right now, the next series, I'm going to show you some pictures and uh, have you try to guess what it is that we want you to do. What do we got going on in this picture here? Right, collect evidence. Absolutely, collecting evidence will be very helpful in in uh, in finding out who is responsible and putting an end to it. So, what do we mean by collecting evidence? That means when you uh, when you uh, see cyberbullying, uh, take a screenshot of it. If, you, uh, if you're a victim, uh, print out emails, print out uh, the text messages so that we have uh, copies that we can see. If you, if you take screenshots, make sure you put them in a file that we can, we can take a look at them because it's going to be a lot easier to deal with those issues if we, can, uh, if we can see very clearly what it is that has happened. It's going to be much easier, especially if we have proof of exactly what was being said and uh, uh, when it was happening, right? So here's the next. Oh. We can often uh, report that to, uh, to a site administrator if it happens uh, on Facebook or on Twitter, if it happens uh, during, a, during a, a, some gaming session, if it happens on some other site uh, or app they'll often have uh, some sort of administrative system that will allow you to report a problem. Absolutely report it. I know, I know you've all heard that nonsense that sn snitches get stitches. That, do that doesn't hold here. Not here at Haw and Hawkland. We don't, we don't, we don't cotton that way. No, um, here, we stand up for what's right. 
we're not afraid to stand up for what's right. And you can do it too. So if there's a problem, report it. Don't hesitate to report it. It is their responsibility. That site, that app, that, uh, that program, those administrators will protect your identity and will not out you. All right, so what's this a picture of? Hopefully that makes some sense. There you go, talking to a mom. Okay, this doesn't look like a mom over here, though. There you go, maybe a coach. Looks like a PE teacher, a coach. Here we go. Talk to a talk to a trusted adult, right? If there's folks that that you know, uh, hopefully you've got a a parent or grandparent. Maybe you've got somebody uh, in your family that you can talk to. If not, somebody here at the at school, we're happy to help. We're trained to help. In fact, we just had a an in service on this very topic just uh, just about a month ago, right? So. Find an adult. Talk to them. Look for look for someone that you can that you can count on to help you, or a friend, when you're experiencing some some trouble, uh, negative uh, online attention or something. Could be anybody, right? All right, all right. So what's going on in these pictures here? No, right? Okay. Yeah, approval. There you go. That thumbs up. Your that support. That's encouragement. That's what that is. We're gonna we're gonna ask you to demonstrate care when you see somebody that's being bullied. You gotta let them know that they're not alone, right? Talk to them, the person that's being bullied. Send them encouragement. Send them an encouraging text or or a, or snap. Take them aside at school and let them know that you have their back, that you're on their side, or not that you're not that you're going to be uh, taking sides in a fight or something like that. No, but just that they're not alone, and that that the things that their people are saying about them online that they're that you know that they're not true, or that you know that they're not being fair, right, right, or that they've been, that they've been unkind, and and you're not going to be like that. Let po let folks know. That, that we're family here. All right? What do you see here? That's right. All right, looks like they're working together, and that's exactly what we're talking about here. All right? Sometimes, sometimes it can be a little bit tough to stand up when you think you're standing up all by yourself, when you think you're the only one going to say something. Now, some of you, ah, yeah, right. Some of you don't have any trouble speaking out, speaking your mind. That's true. But for many of us, it might be a, a little bit difficult to to face down a bully by yourself. But if you get your friends together, you get a couple of other people that you know that you can trust, and you let them know what's going on. Gather your friends and organize a, a like a full court press uh, to just just encourage others to to support them to 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 help build up those people that are getting torn apart or torn down, right? Or on the other hand, the to to tell those that are are bullying others to tell those uh, those bullies to knock it off. Working together. In, in a group will give you a lot more courage, a lot more strength, and a lot more ideas as well. All right, what do we got here? Yeah, that's right. That's right. You tell them, hey, knock it off, right? If you know the person who's doing the cyberbullying, tell them to knock it off, right? Say something. Say something. Even if you don't know them. Say something. Now, that doesn't mean get caught up in the back and forth, you know, the name calling or the threats or anything. No, don't do that. That's not what we're talking about. We're just talking about very plain and simple. Hey, cyberbullying is not cool. Hey, you shouldn't be, shouldn't be saying those sorts of things. Don't be doing those sorts of things. Let them know. That's unacceptable. Right? All right, 
what's this one? What do you think, guys? All right. Don't feed the monsters. Yeah, what's that, what's that mean? What's going to happen if you... Well, you, you've, seen, you've seen online. What, what happens when you feed the trolls? That's right. They just come back and they just get stronger. They, they, they fight harder. Don't do that. All right? So what do we mean? If you see cyberbullying happen, don't support it in any way. Right? That means don't forward it to other people. Don't add emojis or any, any, any comments like that. Don't gossip about it with your friends. And don't just stand on the sidelines and ignore it, right? Say, no, this is unacceptable. Knock it off. And then, then take the screenshots and get out. What do we got here? What's that? Oh, come on. What's that a pic? Yeah, that's right. It's a safe. Exactly. Stay safe. Stay safe. Don't put yourself in harm's way. No one's asking you to do that. We don't want you to do that. Don't, when your emotions are running high, you, you want to resist posting something that, that's going to that's gonna make the situation worse. Uh, when, when, when others are, are being ugly or, or being insulting or cruel, don't jump in and start threatening. Don't jump in and, and start uh, uh, making accusations yourself. Just... Just keep the, the conversation simple and direct. No, this is unacceptable. Don't do this. And then take the screenshots and get out and let other people know. Right? Here's our last of our 10. What do you think? All right. Hanging in there, right? That cat's hanging in there. That's what we want you to do. We want you to hang in there. Just keep going. Don't give up, right? Do whatever you can. When you run out of ideas, talk to other people and get some other ideas. Don't give up. Brainstorm with others. Use everyone's talents. Pull them together. You are capable. You are talented. You here. You can make a difference. You can make the world a little better one post at a time. One click at a time. One, one snap at a time. All right. Hope I've given you something to think about. If you have any questions, let us know.